Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead, you know, what every YouTuber say. Hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad, even if it half works. Um, <laughs> I also have a paid channel membership. Um, it's just an extra way to support um, the content creators. And if you wanna join that, you have to be at least 18 years old and it is $4.99. Um, the perks are <laughs> forever changing with me. Um, the main thing was the exclusive live streams, but I've kind of changed it into more of some exclusive background content. Also, you know, kind of being the first to know when I sell, sometimes occasionally discounts on some of my babies um, when in the chat box. It's just all over the place. Um, we have little things going on in there um some stuff i prefer you know not to share um just you just if you join you find out and we will yeah i'm actually about to do something else crazy in there soon but um this is my sweet elliot my version of elliot by izzy jow or whatever um and I say whatever, not to disrespect the, the sculptor, but whatever, meaning I don't know if I pronounce the name right. <laughs> um, because someone's going to be like, oh, you didn't say it right. <laughs> like, yeah, you're right. I know. I always mess stuff up. I can't talk. Can't spell. Can't write. I'm illiterate. Ill illiterate. <laughs> um, okay. Because I was trying to, you know, see what you guys can see. But anyway... I had him originally on a newborn body and it was just too small for me um, in my opinion. It was recommended like some of these babies are recommended zero to three but sometimes I'm like ah that's too big you know because um, a lot of people like the really big bodies and little heads. I don't necessarily like that but um, I feel like this is very appropriate for him. I'm going to show him. Let me see if I zoom in. And so he um, he already have a mommy. Um, I had to open his mouth and put some light over there so you guys can see more. Um, I had to open his mouth a little bit for so his mommy can be able to use the pacifier. Um, not my strong suit, so I prefer you know. The mouths to be open but as we all know some of these sculptors just they don't do that um but you know to be fair a lot of artists do know how to do that i'm just not one of them let me see if i can i'm gonna bring the camera i'm gonna take the camera back one second off the tripod so you guys can see so of course the main focus is his head right because the rest is just cloth Hold on. So, I did go in and, and put in a little few more pieces of hair on his like his edges and stuff. Um I spent he was kinda like so he was a private order, but he was an in-between baby. He was one of those this or that babies too. Um, I worked on him. Who was I working with? I was working on Kit, the full body kit that I sold. I was working on the prototype, Billy. I worked on, who else I worked on with him? I don't know, but he was kind of one of those in-between babies. Like, okay, you're going to get a little of this, you're going to get a little of that. And so, voila, this is what we got. He was also one of those babies, like, Okay, I don't know if this is safe to put this on this baby, but I'm going to put this color on this baby. I don't know if it's going to be a good idea to put this color here, but I'm going to put this color here. <laughs> Tight baby. So, I did, I put him on a, a little neck ring and I put him on a bigger um, Reggie Ann's body. Now, what I want to say about her bigger, Reg, the bigger Reggie Ann bodies, the arms and stuff are so fat that they don't flail as much. Um, as the skinny bodies because they're so filled out 
and I kind of pushed his stomach out the way that I weighted him just so he can have a little push. He has on a onesie under here because it says welcome home. Ugh, gosh, glad I caught that little piece of mohair on him. But he's not going to wear this home anyway. He's going to wear something else home, but um, I put this on him so I could see color. I did end up going with this cloth body because um, this cloth, the... The tan color is a little less stretchy, so it, it it's not as wide as the darker one. So I went with this one, and I really shouldn't be bothering him because I still got rooting hair on me. <sighs> but, yeah, so anyway, he's, you know, all cloth, and... I'm gonna. I'm trying to find what he's gonna go home with, but he'll be traveling soon. But I thought, oh, I need to do a video of him. So I gave him some eyelashes. Um, I put plenty of pictures on my Instagram, guys. If you don't follow me on Miss Randy Smith on Facebook, you know, make sure you follow me there, and make sure you follow me on my Instagram, guys. Um, I'm really trying to grow those platforms as well because. I put a lot of pictures out there and sometimes in video you can't really get a close-up but if you want close-ups and you know to see my babies that's where they're at um also it's really good like if i put up a baby for sale instead of like messaging me for like a thousand pictures or something you could easily already just go see them you know on my instagram my facebook and then you don't have to you know end up missing out because someone else didn't ask for the pictures because they already seen them um you know sometime when i put a baby up for sale i'll be like oh jacoby's up for sale and i'll have like two pictures up there and because i did so many videos and so many pictures of that baby and then someone will message me and be like can i see additional photos and i'll be like sure because it's not a problem because you should be asking for more photos right but in the meantime someone else already seen them and then they ask, they just ask for my PayPal. And then you've missed out because you were doing your due diligence in which you should. Um, but someone else was already ahead of the game. So I'm going to see about putting, or maybe I'll just turn him to this way. Because I was like, I was trying to put him... So the camera's not like going upwards and look downwards. So we'll just turn him around. <laughs> and you know, it's like I don't have like a favorite size or side to show my babies. I don't try to show them at a specific angle. I want to show them at all angles because um, you ever got a baby that you, you loved, but you didn't really look at all the angles. You didn't see the baby, but from one angle in the photos. And so when you get it, you realize, oh, I don't really like it. I don't really like this baby like I thought. So that's why I, I try my hardest and people were like, she's just taking the same pictures over and over again. No. I'm taking, they look close, but I'm slightly changing their angles from different angles. So the mommy kind of have a better idea of what that baby's going to look like. No matter which way it's laying, which way it's turned, from what side, from an upward shoot, a downward shoot. So that's, that's what I do. Um... But yeah, he's definitely one of the cutest uh, faces I've I've painted. I like really love him. I was like asking his mama, like, I know you don't really like this baby. Maybe you don't really like cuddles because cuddles might not be for you. <laughs> it's me trying to get the lady baby. Oh my gosh. But listen, so this, this cuddle head was so expensive, like $450. Like, by the time you get through, like, $500, then you, you know, you got to buy the body, which is another $100. So, like, this cuddle alone already got tied up in, like, $600. And some of you guys want cuddles to be, like, 
$950. It's not happening on my end. Somebody else might can do it. <laughs> and I'm like, what does that say? Get somebody else to do it. Then on top of rooting all this hair, absolutely not. <laughs> I want to say absolutely mm -mm not, but I'm not going to do that to y'all because I'm going to let y'all believe in innocence. But, like, yeah, his his hair is, like, rooted closely and thick, and I'm not, mm-mm. So, anyway, um, one thing for sure, I'm, I'm lowering this to get closer to him. One thing for sure is that I used to say, I do not, if I want a cuddle baby, I want it to be a small baby. Well, guess what, guys? This baby has messed up the thing. Like, Funky Dad even said, he done messed up the thing. Because, baby, let me tell you, baby's quiet as it's kept. I don't know. I might like this size even more. Cause like, oh my God, yesterday I was picking, I picked him up and I rocked him and I was like, oh my God, it feels so amazing. Like, I don't know if I'm just being in an emotional state and I just need a hug from somebody or what, but right now these cuddle babies just, they just melt my heart. Like, oh my God. What some of y'all say? It melts me. Oh, I can't stand to hear that. <laughs> It melts me. It melts you. And then y'all have a little melting emoji. Ugh, y'all so extra. Drama queens and kings and things. No, let me stop. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I just wanted to show you guys what he looked like. Oh, I did put a little... Uh, um, I did have his, his butt. I know this sounds so stupid. I had his little butt crack stitched up a little further so it looks more realistic on his body so um but y'all know me I wanted him to have a little bit of push in his butt his butt butt so I did put a little bit of cotton back there in his little pamper and he gonna go home with that cotton in there cause his mama gonna listen mama <laughs> we don't want no flat boop boop but I love how he just, oh my gosh. <sighs> and then I think I was putting the cuddle rings on a little wrong or something because I changed, I put his cuddle ring, the I mean, uh, neck ring thing on his head a specific way. And it just, his head turns so nice. So anyway, that's all. Um, so, you, you know, you can do... So many poses with these babies, the cuddle babies. Um, I actually can put him on a little jean outfit. And I'm excited about that because I don't have to worry. Like, I don't have to be like, oh, you know. Let me turn his head this way. I don't have to be like, um, I want the dye to get out get on his on his clothes or nothing like that i don't have to worry about that because he i mean he's on his uh paint and mess him up and all that i don't have to worry about any of that because guess what only stuff only you know the only thing i have to worry about is his face and of course we're not putting no gene on his face so or no dye on his face so he good to go and so i really love that for him and for me <laughs> and for the mommy so yeah like look at this oh my god i just love him so much oh my gosh i'm i'm so happy that he's going to my dear friend and i hope this is her first cuddle so i hope and pray that she really love him. Um, I um, I made him. That's so special because I put him some baby powder in him, scents in him, and then I also gave him a heartbeat. <laughs> I told his mom, I said, "Don't be mad at me, but he got a heartbeat <laughs> because why not? Like he need one. I don't do the heartbeats." guys on a regular basis because once one person made 
a video saying, oh, the heartbeat stopped. I just was like, oh, that looks so horrible. Like, you know, and I know they probably didn't mean anything by it, but it's like, it just made me think like, oh God, you know, is this going to be a complaint from people? Like, I got it and, you know, two months later, the heartbeat stopped. I have no control on the battery life. You know, you buy them new and then whatever, whatever. I mean, you can replace them easily. Um, but I don't have time for that. And I'm not going to be trying to send no extra one and all this stuff. I could send an extra one, a zip tie. All, baby, I just, mm, mm So I told the mommy, listen, when it stopped, he's still going to be able to live without the heartbeat. But <laughs> that was the other thing. I was like, oh my God, that might be dramatic for someone that's, you know, like emotionally connected to it and the baby heartbeat stopped beating. Like, you know, because it's like, oh, everything is a trigger for everybody. And so I just leave the heartbeats to like me, some of my close friends that buy from me, um, they may request or, and I, if I have one here, um, I'll put it in them um, because... But otherwise, I don't just genuinely do it because I don't have time for all that. Like, you're not going to be trying to embarrass me. Act like I sent you a faulty product because <laughs> of this, this 999 uh, heart done stop. You know what I mean? So, anyway, um, I hope you guys are having a fabulous, great day. And that is it. Um, I can't wait to be able to call him by his regular name because I really like it for him. Um, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.